8 to 8.7. That's quite, quite significant. Uh, insulin PP from 136 to 14. And triglycerides uh, from 294 to 197. So basically all of those are the factors that create the diabetes. And uh, again, she had a lower back uh, reduction of pain. And uh, these are the results. It, don't, it doesn't seem that much, but if you see that, that line that is drawn from the straight line there, uh, you can see that she has lost quite a bit. And that was 23 months. So, obviously this is a very important effect because visceral fat cannot be reduced by lasers or cryolysis or radio frequency. So this is the only thing that the only technology really that will reduce visceral fat. So you have basically two choices, exercise and diet, or this technology and some diet. Because it will replace the jet, but it's not gonna replace the diet altogether. Now, there are other, um, the, there are other studies that we did again um, in the same study we did with the MRIs, 20, 20 subjects, the 12 treatments. We also looked at subcutaneous fat. That's, that's easy. That, there's a lot of technologies that do that, but still, uh, there was a significant result of from 252.23 to 176. That's at the 0 0.01 significance of uh, uh, subcutaneous fat. And we also saw an increase in muscle mass, and that is very, very important. You see how the fat sort of enters, you see how it sort of penetrates into the muscle, and this is a very toxic effect. So in the increase in muscle mass gets that fat out, and also you, you're basically reducing the fat. And uh, the uh, results in uh, muscle mass were very significant, Again, it was a significance of 0.01, went from 133.70 to 2.173. Very, very significant result. And uh, this is uh, the uh, another effect, again, 15 treatments. That's another clinical study from uh, Dr. Badami. And uh, this is uh, primarily the weight uh, difference from 98 to 89, the fat percentage went from 34.9 to 25.8, and then a lot of inches lost from 107 to 93. Uh, this gentleman did very well. And 115 to 99 of us about 16, and 117 to 99, that's uh, 18. So quite a big result. But actually you can see that on his, um, on his body as well. This is another study from uh, Singapore. Uh, it, this is actually in a very, very short time, so within a week, this is only four treatments. This lady did very well in a very, very short time. That's another study from India, that's 15 treatments, before and after. Um, the results speak for themselves. Now, we did a study with a famous singer, a famous Chinese singer in Hong Kong uh, from uh, Dr. Jeremy Kwok. And this is uh, six treatments, and she, again, she had quite a significant results. She came in one of our seminars, and she kind of showed her, her body and uh, the difference it made. And this is at the side, uh, you know, she, quite significant results. It really got completely, completely flat. It was wonderful to see it. Uh, this is a study from uh, Margaret Kissel from Poland. She did her doctorate with the Iron Magnum. She used the Iron Magnum and she, uh, these are the results that she uh, presented uh, from her doctorate thesis. Uh, it's after uh, 12 sessions. And as you can see, Sometimes you do have some resistance, so eight sessions you have not finished your results, but if you persist, you're gonna win in the end kind of thing. This is another study with, um, from Dr. Margaret uh, Kiesel. Uh, again, uh, you can see a quite a big difference. Also, the belly seems to have lifted. This is, has a lifting effect, which is quite, quite significant. 
She also used this device for rejuvenation of the face. We don't usually do that, but she did. And she did get some results that uh, she felt were very significant. Um, I think it's primarily on the face that looks slimmer and also lifted. This is another study. I, it's not, a, you're gonna see much, much better results with the rejuvenation technology, but uh, um, this is something that she used. There is quite a bit of an improvement um, on the lifting. And that's another um, study that she did, another subject that she used. And that's uh, from her study that she got a doctorate on this, based on this research. Uh, this is a clinical study of Christina Brussella on herself. Uh, she really went from a very, very large size to a very thin size. She's very happy. She has several of these devices, one that she uses for herself. And um, that's another study uh, before and after. That's an famous singer that, uh, as you can see, that's a huge difference. Uh, be, uh, after six treatments, but these people are young. They, uh, you know, it's um, they're, they're not diabetic. Diabetic people have more resistance, so that is easier for them to lose weight. Some people can lose weight easier; others don't. That's another um, study from um, Christina Bruciato as well. Uh, these are uh, previous studies. Actually, this is a study from Dr. Yopi in Indonesia. Uh, before and after uh, 14 treatments to 54 year old lady and uh, the last one is from Singapore. So now can you add this technology to other technologies and the answer is yes you can use it with uh, lasers and radio frequency because basically those other technologies don't do much for the muscle this one is going to build the muscle. There's another thing that is very useful um, if you use it on top of technologies, and that is, as the other technologies cause the lipolysis, all the uh, sugar goes into the blood, and now this technology takes the sugar from the blood, burns to build the muscle, so they work very nicely together in a nice neat package. Another great advantage is that uh, Neurofrequency technology separates the red blood cells. We don't know why it does it, or how it does it, all we know is that it does it. Uh, we had a microscope, we did about 1,200 samples in different shows. Every single person had a difference in their blood flow. So it does increase blood flow. We know that from the very beginning, but we did not know that separation of the blood at the microscopic level. Now, the good thing about this is that the blood transports oxygen, it transports hormones, antibodies, nutrients to the cells, so waste products to the kidney. So basically, your whole health improves as a result of uh, doing that. The way it improves when you are exercising. And these are the results on 19 subjects. As you can see, we had six treatments. And before, you can see a lot of poikilocytosis on the first slide, and MULO and uh, aggregation, and then there is a separation after the that treatment. So that was, uh, again, uh, through the microscope, we took a, just a, a drop of blood, uh, looked at it after the microscope before and after the six treatments. And it was, uh, this is the results of the study. As you can see, uh, there was a reduction in fugal forms, reduction in bacteria, reduction in poikilocytosis. Poikilocytosis means um, um, free radicals in the blood. And then you can see primarily separation after the other treatment. So again, the, uh, this technology will burn the fat stepwise. So it's not gonna throw all the, uh, the sugar into the bloodstream like a laser would do. It just will do, it will burn as much fat as necessary to build the muscle. So it's, it's a healthier, it's, like, it's very much like exercise. So basically, uh, if you throw the fat into the, uh, the blood, all together, like with lipolysis, you could clog the arteries, so you could have some uh, uh, 
you know, adverse medical effects, you can use those two together and then you can burn the, uh, the sugar from the blood and uh, to build the muscle and therefore it's, uh, it's a much better, healthier alternative. Now, the other thing is that of course it detoxifies, very, very important, because the problem with losing weight, you have all lost weight and what happens after a while, you start losing weight and then it stops. And the reason why is that toxicity interferes with metabolism. So it will stop because you stop, uh, you, you become more toxin because as the fat cells release their contents into the bloodstream, they also release toxins. And that toxicity will interfere with metabolism. So you lose some weight and then you stop. That's the toxicity, you need the detox. And with the detox, you will continue losing the weight much more efficiently. Uh, this is another study that uh, was done with um, um, cortisol to measure the cortisol. As, and as you can see, this technology does not increase cortisol. Why cortisol is important? I can tell you why. Because this is a stress hormone that causes weight gain. So as you can see, this technology does not increase cortisol. Therefore, that's another reason why it will be efficient in helping you lose the weight. Now, uh, we also looked at the growth hormones and the HEA. Like the previous speaker was talking about uh, how you can have uh, uh, different uh, hormonal addition. This uh, technology will add the hormones the way the exercise will add the hormones because you will uh, release more hormones. So what we looked at, again, 20 subjects and 12 treatments, and there was a significant uh, increase in free T3, which is the uh, uh, hormone that basically triggers the uh, fat burning. And there was a significant increase in DHEA. Uh, we don't know why there's a decrease in DHA, but there's an increase in DHA, and that is a very significant result from uh, uh, 10.7 to 16.85, and a significant set uh, 0.01. There was an independent research that was done in London University by Dolphin, and they found that neurofrequency technology produces rapid hypertrophy, which is uh, the, the result of changes in gene expression. And they were looking at cells, and they were analyzing RNA of humans. And uh, they also looked at uh, IVB genes, and uh, they found that uh, there were the slow skeletal genes that were associated with overload, stretch, and physical exercise. So this technology is very much like basically physical exercise, and that was what this study uh, that's, uh, uh, demonstrated. There was another independent research from Aneros et al, uh, and you can find it in the endocrinology, and they found the neurofrequency technology more combined with exercise. Uh, it will improve insulin sensitivity as measured by the market. This is another study that we did in 2012. We just looked at the water content, muscle mass, and body fat. And as you can see, the water content stayed about the same. So you don't lose water, you lose fat. And the muscle mass increase, the body fat significantly decrease. And you can see all the, uh, we measured at every single treatment. And you can see, you know, some, you know, second treatment wasn't that much, third treatment wasn't that much. But if you look from the first treatment to uh, the last one, then there is a significant, significant difference. So you do need a package of treatments, basically. The way you need to go to the gym and you have to stay in the gym for a while, you cannot do it in one day. I mean, it's not a miracle, it's science. Oh, this is the, just the results that from uh, the statistical results we had. Again, it was a, a significant statistical study. And um, so, what is NF? What, what is neurofrequency? Neurofrequency is a waveform, just like radio frequency, but it's designed to deliver a biologically meaningful signal. And it's basically, at this level, it's effortless exercise because it's used 
to amplify the motor nerve to produce hormone signals that are produced during exercise but without the exercise. So what it does, it goes from the, uh, the motor nerve gives a signal to the brain, the brain gives a signal to the pituitary to release the hormones, uh, and uh, you have the thyroid hormone, and then you have the growth hormone. So basically, this is what um, strenuous exercise will do. It will stimulate the motor nerve, and this is what passive exercise will do. It will stimulate the motor nerve. It will go to the pituitary, and as a result, you're gonna have thyroid hormones if you're exercising or if you're doing this technology. You're gonna have from thyroid hormones, it's gonna cause light policy to burn the fat as an energy source. You're gonna have growth hormones, which turns into a growth hormone. It's a derivative, IGF-1 is a derivative of growth hormone. That will have the muscle building, uh, conditioning, body contouring, that we call. And then you're gonna have DHEA that does have, a, it has been associated in a lot of studies with bone density, with collagen increase, and an immune system uh, improvement. So it was invented and built in London and impressed by the co-inventor of the first pacemaker, Gerald Pollock. Uh, it was, uh, it was, it's been made in uh, uh, the EU, EU funded facility, uh, BIS. These are some of the certificates. It has uh, the ISO. It has a directive that is the C mark. And it has FDA clearance. Um, as you can see, my name is there. I actually wrote the uh, FDA application and we cleared it. And uh, this is uh, the uh, number K123158. You can search it and you can look at some of the specs. And uh, how it was built, it was built after 17 years of empirical research or by Jerry, if there was no theory, he was just trial and error, he was just trying basically different waveforms to see what will be the waveform that will be the waveform of the motor nerve. He was adding waveforms, the way you build a house and you put like uh, uh, building blocks to build a house. And what he was doing, he had a normal neuron and a severe neuron, and he had a bypass device that we know now as an eye, Martin obviously then he did not have a name. And uh, he was uh, kept adding frequencies to only oscilloscope, very sensitive oscilloscope, to, to see if uh, eventually you will have the same results as a norm that the, that the severe neuron with that device will act the same as a normal neuron, basically. That was the research. The, the most important thing that you need to know about neurophysiology is that if a signal that comes into the body is not in sync with the nerve system, it's been discarded by the body. So the signal has, if the signal is the same, it will amplify the signal of the motor nerve. But if it's not, that signal, it will be discarded by the body. So it has to be the same signal, and that's what resonance is, is when two signals are the same, they amplify, they create a bigger signal. It's like what two waves meet, they make a bigger wave. That's resonance. So an amplified uh, motor signal would basically go to the brain and the brain will respond uh, by releasing hormones and the hormones will burn the fat pretty much and build the muscle and then uh, P3 signals will um, signal the uh, uh, fat cells, the adipose tissue to release uh, the contents into the bloodstream the glucose is released from the fat cells, will burn uh, in mitochondria via oxygen, it will release electrons, and so what you can see is basically the electron transport in the mitochondria will go and will uh, utilize the protons around the 80 percent module. This is the mitochondria, this is the 80 percent modules, and what it will do, it will start utilizing the ATP, which is a currency source 
uh, for the muscle to start building. You need the ATP uh, as an energy source, and it's made by the glucose that was burned uh, in the mitochondria by oxygen that was produced from the fat cells. So basically, uh, brain growth hormone from the liver, IGF-1, uh, it will build the muscle, and this is pretty much what's happening, both in exercise and with this technology. And there are certain disadvantages with lasers, like the loose skin and bumps, and basically you can utilize this technology to get no lumps, to tighter skin, tone muscle, less cellulite, and rejuvenate the entire system. And very important study, this technology is anti-inflammatory, uh, the way exercise, of course, helps with inflammation, this technology also helps with inflammation. And we need the balance between inflammation and inflammation, and that is a very sensitive thing, that's why inflammation is so easily happening, because it's so easy to lose this balance. So, the, to exercise the traditional way to a healthy body, uh, NF is effortless exercise, the modern way to have the healthy body. Now, let's talk about the, how you can use NF for rejuvenation. Again, it's neurofrequency, it's a minimum, it's a waveform that has a meaningful signal, but what we see when you use it in a very, very different way, not with the modern nerve, but with the cellular system, you see to thicken the skin under the eyes, raises through the eyelids, and you can also administer stem cells with it, and I can tell you why. So this is, a, uh, it's happening through ion channels, and I'll explain how this is happening. Um, it's the only technology that thickens the skin under the eyes. You don't have anything else that does that. Lasers, radio frequency would not do that. And lifts the drooping eyelids. And if you have like an injection, like a Botox injection, and you have a drooping uh, eyelid, use that and you can correct it. We just had a case here in Hong Kong recently and uh, um, I was called in, in a panic. <laughs> this patient is, is a, a very famous uh, uh, actor and he had a drooping in the eyelid. I had to go in in a hurry to kind of help with but this uh, technology, the Aelios. I'm going to show you some clinical studies that were done with the Aelios. This is uh, from Preciado, Cristina Preciado from Mexico. This is the before, and this is three years later, as you can see, significant improvement after three years. Um, it removes inflammation, puffiness, dark circles, and wrinkles around the eyes, and this is uh, um, a before and after two treatments. This is again a before and after two treatments, and she can see all the wrinkles in the eyes diminished. Uh, this is uh, another, uh, that's actually after one treatment, um, before and after. This is uh, after five treatments, um, but this gentleman never developed this very, um, puffiness under the eye that was quite pronounced previously. That's also from Mexico. This is uh, the larger picture you saw it before. Uh, as you can see, there is a smile in both pictures, but the second picture, the uh, wrinkles are not as pronounced. This is again from Mexico. As you can see, there is significant decrease in the puffiness under the eyes. Now, it also does a natural lift, and other technologies cannot do that as well. So this will do a natural uh, lift, and this is uh, some of the results after one treatment. And uh, this is again after, well, after four treatments. This is uh, the famous star. This is a famous Chinese singer, actually. I didn't know how you probably don't know her either, but. Uh, also, it rejuvenates the complexion. And this is some of the pictures of the facial rejuvenation. Um, that's another before and after, after one treatment. And this is uh, a significant um, 
uh, decrease in the wrinkles, and also that there's a decrease in the pores of the nose. <clears throat> that is the famous actress, before and after uh, four uh, treatments. This is a, a Preciado from Mexico, another study that she did. And this is an encore, a Dutch encore. I did this myself, it was one treatment. And <clears throat> she put it on television in uh, Holland. She was very happy with her face. That's a before and after. That's, I'm sorry, 10 years treatments. And that is uh, three years later. And um, it also reduces the bumps under the eyes that are uh, in uh, that can be, that have all sometimes are caused by laser or other inflammatory procedures. As you can see, this is the result of a study that we did after two treatments. And this is some of the certificates. It has ISO, it has um, CE, EMC, it's uh, accredited uh, by FCC, it has LEETB, which is the UL. It has all kinds of certificates. Um, the advantages with using it with radio frequency is that it reduces the inflammation and will amplify. You see, laser, what laser does is basically creates signaling. This will amplify the signaling. And uh, this is uh, the effects of laser. Uh, you can see the lift after the helios. Uh, this lady also, the, the skin is much more clear after we combined the IELIOS with the laser device. That's a clinical study we did at Dr. Fox's office. And that's a second study. Uh, as you can see, the skin appears to be lighter. Uh, this was after ultrasound, and then after we added the IELIOS, was a much more significant effect. And it also reduces the inflammation, wound swelling caused by trauma, of a surgeon ultrasound and RF. And uh, as you can see, there is a difference in the skin. This lady came for an acne treatment, and this is a significant result uh, after we added the IELIOS after the laser. And that's another result, again, as you can see, much more smoother after laser reduced their ileus and uh, the pigmentation was even more reduced uh, when we combined the two. It also reduces eczema. Uh, this is immediately after the treatment and this is a week later. So it took a week and it became even better results after a week. Actually, it kept working. We only did one treatment. And actually, this was again another famous singer. Um, she uh, had this for several months and had tried different creams and did not heal. And with this technology, it did improve significantly. It also reduces psoriasis. And this is a study from uh, Singapore, from uh, Dr. Yap. And uh, very significant results, 10 treatments. It completely reduced the psoriasis. This is chronic psoriasis, again, treated with neurofrequency, the IELIOS treatment after 10 treatments. And uh, it also heals diabetic wounds. This is a patient that had tried just about everything. Diabetic wound uh, was not improved. This is in, after six treatments. And uh, on the bottom, you see one year later, there was no reoccurrence. The landmark of the diabetic wounds, they keep coming back don't heal very easily. Here, they did heal and there was no reoccurrence, actually got better. Sorry, after minus years. minutes? Almost. Awesome. Now, it also heals severe and acute wounds. Uh, this is an acute wound before and after 15 IELIOS treatments. And um, this gentleman was told he would never grow nails and yet he did grow nails and he regained his motility. Uh, neurofrequency is the language of the cells. So the language of life that the cell speaks, there's a lot of books that are called language of life. And uh, as you can see, basically what it does, it amplifies faded biological signals. 
and uh, it does it, uh, you can see the molecular biological reaction to um, resonance. This is how you can see it in a diagram. Uh, this is how cells have different communication uh, frequencies, but there's a large range, and this is how you make them, you make something out of thousands of frequencies. This is how you combine it. Uh, what it does, basically, it combines different signals as a language to create a language, as you can see here. And what happens is that as for aging, you see, I see here alternating frequencies forming a bio language. When you lose letters, it's like you're losing signals. The second one is a nonsense sequence that does not make any sense. And what was found in a study uh, by Zia et al. is after studying 7,123 proteins, they found that the most important aspect of aging is protein-to-protein -protein communications are reduced. So signaling will improve that, and proteins do just about everything in our bodies. Enzymes are proteins, hormones are proteins, they're here for storage, for DNA repair, antibody, mediate cell migration, so on and so forth. We're running out of time. But basically, nonsense proteins uh, reduce sort of fatty, become non-functional antibodies, and they basically create a cellular collapse and aging. So the proteins are the most important base. This is the intelligence for the cells. And this is what signaling does, improves protein functioning. Can you make the conclusion? I have another three slides, and the other lecturers uh, did a much longer than 45 seconds. So please uh, allow me to finish. Thank you. So I use proprietary energies, amplifies the entry points of skin cells to pass signals through the entry points of uh, the skin cells. And uh, there is a book called Electron Gated Ion Channels. And uh, what it does basically it amplifies the gate of the ion channels to pass through the signals. And this is what it does, basically it opens the gates, and with it you can also have stem cells extracts and other um, uh, products. Uh, this is the energies, a lot of people ask me, is it electrical, is it this? This is the energies of the areas that are below permanoids, as you can see, for yourself, it's a very, very different thing. It's not electrical, it's not voltage driven, it's based on very low energies. And I, in those energies below thermal noise, there is a magical effect. The ion channels of the cells open up, and then you can pass the signals through the cells, and then these signals they can travel through the entire skin up to the bone. And basically, uh, the trauma with the natural proteins, I Elios, will help in the folding of the proteins and the renaturing of the proteins. It's going to help increase anti-aging through the proteins. It will also decrease free radicals because it will give a lot of electrons into the system. And basically, Whatever happens with other technologies that will increase collagen, elastin, increase pathway signaling and other signaling. It will increase uh, uh, perimodial cells, red blood cells carrying nutrients to oxygen, differentiation of the cells. It will repair defective nonsense protein signals and it will fold them and will reduce inflammation. All of these things will happen with your frequency. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the presentation.